Hey, this is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at five of the new Fender Hammer Tone pedals. Before we tell you all about these cool pedals, take a second to subscribe below. Thanks very much. So, here's the details. So Fender jumped into the pedal game in 2018 with a lot of success, and now they've come out with this new series called the Hammer Tone. It's hammer time! So what they've done, they've come up with new, five new pedals, I'm sorry, nine new pedals, uh, but we're gonna discuss five of them right here. Um, here's what they have in common. First, it's a heavy duty aluminum construction, which I really like. Second of all, LEDs are color coded. So I like that. You're in a dark, you're on a dark stage and you say, oh, okay, there's my green reverb. Oh, there's my blue delay. It's just, Red drive. Just cool, pragmatic player stuff. Uh, next, it offers you DC power or 9 volt, which is great. And the 9 volt battery has this magnetic thing that holds the, place, holds the back panel in place. I like that. We'll get into all of them, but let's go left to right, starting with this happy little angry fellow here, the overdrive. Here's my bass tone. This is my, uh, my Gretsch Black Falcon. <laughs> Plug into the pedals that are being powered by one spot, and we're going into a Fender Pro Reverb amp that's dry right now. There we go. Here we are, and this is with the drive way up. I've always thought that overdrive is the hardest pedal to get right because it's just there's so many unappealing pedals that have this high-end thing that I don't like. This I think just sounds great right out of the box and what I really like about it is it has Okay, as you'd expect, it's got gain, which is on eight right now. Level, you know, your volume, which is on about six. Tone is on about nine. But right over here is the mid boost. And I think that's the most interesting part of it. Let me show you exactly how this pre-mid boost works. So I'm gonna turn it on, put our gain down a little bit, okay? I like it, right? Now, if we feather this in, dime it. I like that tone. And here's what's cool if you bring your gain way down, bring your gain way down, level up a little bit. And then bring up your boost, your pre-mid. Just has a total different personality. But bring it back down. Because it's really about finding the overdrive that's going to cut in the mix or feel right in the mix. Maybe you don't want it to cut too much. But I love this pre-mid boost because it gives you that option of kind of putting it where you want it. And if you're not happy with the sound right there, you can actually open it up and do further tweaking on the high end. Kind of an additional EQ approach to it. So tons of tweaking options. Comes in at $79. And best of all, it plays well with other pedals. Like, for instance, this chorus, which comes in at $99. Same rugged construction. It's essentially giving you, okay, you have, like you'd expect, you got rate, you got depth, you got level, like you would on everyone. 
any chorus. You have a tone switch with just a you know quick tone EQ, and then you have three different types of chorusing. It has the top one is a single voice, second is two voices, and the bottom is four voices. So let's kind of start there. Here, this is that. Cool, right? Just a classic kind of. To me, it's a very kind of 80s, 90s chorus. That first voice. Now, if we go to the second one. Now, say we want to hit this tone switch. Gives you all that sparkle up top. Then, let's go all the way down. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Let's go all the way down. This will be the four voices. God, that's a great sound. Just huge, right? Great, right? Add a little dirt to it. Actually, let's add a lot of dirt to it. To me, that's almost like that Billy Duffy thing. Let me make the chorus a little more extreme. So, very cool. Let's move on to another kind of weirdo pedal, the flange. And this is that, again, that to me it's a real, it's a time capsule. To me this has kind of got that, you know, that like a 70s, early 80s thing. <laughs> So the flanger, as you probably expect, depth and rate, that's what you're gonna be dealing with the most. Over here is the manual control, but here's the most interesting parts to me. This is where I kind of would spend the most time. This switch right here is the type, two types of flanger. One is positive polarity, which adds a harmonic, and negative polarity, polarity which removes one. So I had it up top on positive. <laughs> go to type two. Wow, trippy, right? So if we dial back the depth, and then you can see it's the manual. Total crazy space noises. A little bit like a Leslie, but totally crazy. Now, let's go to these um, over here to the res. Um, the res switch has three levels of feedback resonance. Up high, down low. So let's try this. I'll go back to type one. So. subtle than down here to me that's really close to chorusing you know if you bring your depth to me that 
gets like a really great warm deep chorusing. <laughs> dirt on that. Yeah, what a cool pedal. Comes in at $99. Okay, next we have delay. So as you might guess, there's a uh, level time and feedback but where it gets cool there's a mod switch but there's also two different or three different types up top is a digital then kind of a dark analog then an analog too so let's try it <laughs> Now, it would be nice if it had a tap, but you can dial in with by hand and ear, you know, where you want it. Uh, that was the anal or the, uh, the digital setting without the mod. Now let's try the second setting, which is our analog. Go there and let's go for a kind of a no feedbacks and kind of a slap back you deal. Yeah, let's try that. Cool, right? Then put a little longer one on there, a little more. You'll go for like that analog with the uh, with the drive and then if we add that mod you get some some pretty crazy seasickness mod now you can you can open it up and tweak a little bit more but we're not getting into that right now and our final setting the second analog let's see. yeah let's give us a lot of feedback on that Cool, right? Now, finally, we'll get into our reverb, which I laid pretty heavy on the front. Uh, so like the others, you have level, you have tone, but you also have dampening. And damp, damp is essentially how long these trails are gonna last, uh, if it's longer or quick. Um, right over here, we have the type switch, which is gonna give us three different types. Um, hall, which is where I came in on that play-in, then room and plate. Now it's a little, to me it's a little puzzling because I would think Fender, which, uh, you know, has always been like this, this spring reverb, you know, company, didn't include that. But these are great sounds. I was expecting spring, but 
I don't miss it. These are three great tones. I just thought it was a curious decision. So right now we're on the hall and I'm going pretty big. Level up there with that damp going long. So that's just a cool, ambient, kind of vibey, shoegazy. But short enough to a more manual thing. Considerably shorter. To me, that sounds very close to what's coming out of the amp. If you want to try that. So that is the stock Fender. Like that too. It's got that, that whole thing going. So let's go to the second type. This is a room. Get a little more of that. Subtle will be nice with overdrive. To me, with that overdrive, it really does sound like you're miking a loud amp in a big room. That that is a that's a real solid room sound. Then all the way down, I believe, is our plate. Let that ring out a little bit more. Right here is a tone switch. I like them both. It's cool. So cool. That's a good verb. And again, small, small compact package, lots of uh, lots of bang for the buck, about a hundred bucks. So why don't I put on a telly so you can hear what it does with some other pickups. So now we're in telly land. That's our bass tone. And I'll just flip through all these as I play off. But for more information to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com or have the hard copy of the magazine sent right to your house. I know all I do. While you're online, also subscribe to YouTube, Instagram, all that jazz. This is John Bolger. Till next time. Oh, mm -hmm.